We're doing another food video. Oh, cool. Brains. <laughs> Back to our stupid reaction video. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. Nick Falls on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter, more juicy, juicy content. Yeah, and Patreon, I'll follow an official Twitter account. Uh, we've reacted to a few of his, uh, and he has a bunch. That he's a great, he's a great YouTuber. Go subscribe to him. It's his channel's the best ever food review show. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's. I mean, he's the best one we've seen. Where am I? <laughs> um, but uh, in the last one we saw, uh, it was an exotic. Food, right, the exotic street food, was it, the flaming uh, pond. Was it uh, New Delhi? I think it was, maybe? I think it was. It was. It was uh, New Delhi and it was the ice cream with the noodles in it. Yes, this one's called Exotic India Street Food Tour in Mumbai, India. Ah! And it, in parentheses it says, I did not expect this. Don't know what that means. That's a nice little uh, clickbait for you. But we did see that he was eating brains, which is disgusting. Uh, I would, I'd eat it. I would also like to address all of you uh, jerks who... <laughs> Thought that like I just am insulting your food by not like when I was Quivering in fear from some of these. Oh, they th were offended that and that one person which was particularly funny He was like I don't make I don't say anything to you and how disgusting your mashed potatoes are I said one why the f would I give a shit if you don't like mashed potatoes? <laughs> uh, people have different tastes. Did you not wait, understand wait, that what? Seriously? Like, I don't care if you don't like any food from America or anywhere. I don't, I really don't. My, like, they could, somebody, somebody could eat my favorite food and say it's the most disgusting thing they've ever tasted and anyone who eats it is a moron and I would laugh and think there's something wrong with you. I wouldn't be offended by that. Why are you offended if I don't like what you like? That doesn't oh. make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense. People have different tastes. That's what being a human is. It's true. You should wear that on a shirt. <laughs> but anyways. I do enjoy the videos, and also, I said, most of these look good, not the gross noodle. Yeah, and I mean, he's been saying over and over again how badly he wants to do the $100 street food challenge. I'm gonna try them, but so. it doesn't mean I'm gonna like them. Yeah. But anyways. I'm looking forward. I'm looking as forward to tasting I don't recommend doing double chili. As I am watching you eat the things. Yeah, I think that's... Especially, I don't know, what was the movie we just saw? There's a movie we just saw where somebody's eating with their hands and then they feed their kid. Yes, I know. Yeah. How'd that, how'd that grab you? Yeah. Not enjoyable. <laughs> my, my wife can attest. I think I was squirming <laughs> when it was happening. But yes, uh, oh, here we go. I want Ollie about to feed you so bad. She will never feed me. Here we go. <laughs> I don't recommend doing double chilies. I'm dying over here. Look at his face. You see how red his face was? He's a white boy. Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we are going on another fun food adventure and we are trying out some of the most exotic food that we can find here in Mumbai, India. Foods that a little boy from central Minnesota might have found to be a bit unusual in the past. That's a goat heart? That's smaller than I would have thought for a goat heart. And the brain is bigger than I would have thought. There's no yeah. doubt that India is full of mind-bendingly delicious, tasty treats. But yep. in these next two videos, I've searched Mumbai and Delhi so to still get some of the you most know. unique you they have to do it for like liability issues. They can't do it for you. Yeah, they've got to do it. I figured that's what it was. This the cheat of the universe. Con. Uh. I'm determined to prove that one man's weird is another man's delicious. Camel milk. I wonder what that's like. Oh, similar, right? Hey! When I came to India, so many people from India were like, sorry, man, no weird food here. I think I found a couple of special things. I'm not going to say they're weird, but they're extra that's special. I've never tried buffalo taste. milk, let alone chick milk, a special name given to the nutrient-dense milk produced immediately after a buffalo has given birth. Also, this place housing 375 buffaloes is not exactly in the I'm countryside. Yeah, India actually is one of the biggest exports of beef. You know, really buffalo? Are in the middle of the city. Here's a giant buffalo. And here's an apartment. Next to apartment buildings, right next to a main highway, right here in the middle of the city. Until I have to be quiet, so we're gonna be with our buffalo voices. There's a guy milking him, so they're milking Tea to the universe. But they're doing it by hand. Man, that's gotta be such a relief to get all that milk out. She looks very satisfied right now. Look at it. Look at that face. Oh, don't be shy now. Come on. The buffalo, they're feeding, they're eating, and then they're a little bit curious too, because maybe they've never been on a YouTube show. So right now we're going to milk the buffalo, and um, yeah, I told them that I knew how. I bet it smells great. 
I love the smell You've of never, livestock. You never been in a livestock? Like I love it's livestock. Okay, smell. Uh, yeah, but it smells like poop. Yeah. Okay, I have no idea what's happening. I love happening, the smell of the door. It's great. Sure. Oh, that's good. Oh, a lot of milk. It's frothing. Yes. You see, there's a little bit of milk. Are you getting Vaseline? Do you guys have Vaseline? This tastes right Yeah, squeeze Whoa. it, man. Oh, I thought one of these nipples was broken. It's just me. This is not coming out. Come on. Come on. Don't embarrass yourself, Sonny. I'm trying to be like gentle. This buffalo likes no. it a little bit rough. I think they brought me to a dry cow. What is no, that? You need to eat. This is like the most well, bizarre. Field trip I've ever been on. Okay. Oh, this? No. I wish I could no. smell it actually. Boys, boys. Boys? Boys? boys. You don't try and milk the boy. I don't think I should milk this one because it has a, a penis. Can I drink? <laughs> one liter of milk. That's oh. absolutely going to give me gas. Instead of trying the plain buffalo milk, I've been told to wait for the rare chick milk from a mother who had just given birth that morning. But first, I'm heading into Goshwala like for a dessert made milk? from this same kind of milk. Females only drink they have a different type of milk that has more nutrients. So we are in the yes, yes, I forget what it's called. The first thing I spotted here was they have Goat some special sheep sheep meat. Goat is like the clarified butter. And this and is a cow ghee. I have a very personal question to ask you. From the cows, they have sheep ghee and they have goat ghee. We also have, have goat cheese. Have fresh camel milk. We're not going to try it today because it's uh, frozen solid. They prepared a dessert that we're going to try right now. That's, uh, we've had that. It's a... Uh, Barfy, barfy. From that special buffalo chick or chick milk, they've made this dessert. Here we have the plain version, just straight up white, and then this yellow one is made with saffron. This it's is called. supposed to be super nutrient dense, healthy. I mean, after this, I can lift a car or maybe at least a buffalo. Let's try it out. That's really good. Oh, it's very. <laughs> Creamy, I don't believe between that. like cream I was waiting cheese, to say it's weird. yogurt, cheese, and cold milk. If you combine all those things, that's what it tastes like. No buffaloiness at all. Do you like this one? Yeah. So let's try the bite with the saffron. Mm. It kind of changes the texture somehow. Well, that's creamy, like almost the, crumbly, the now, but very dense, yeah. thick. And so it looks like flan a little bit too. A little bit. Like that's out there on the unique show. Normal patrons come here to grab milk by the bag, but a bag of chick milk costs three times the standard variety. And right now, the owner of this stable has invited me for a warm, frothy cup. There's a baby cat and a mother. We're gonna go try that milk now. We will take the milk from this buffalo. If it was a pregnant in the morning, now we had given the cat that baby. Today? Yeah, yeah, today morning he oh. had the, the baby and this baby after three hours or after four hours this baby will do running. So the baby gets some milk. Ah, yeah. And we get some milk. Ah, yeah. Okay, see, I thought we were like taking away the baby's milk. But everyone gets milk. Okay, I thought we will having the milk right now. Now it's trying to help you out. It is a, it is a colostrum milk has a 99% calcium. Whoa. Yeah. That sounds almost dangerous. Oh, it's very nice. This milk just came right from the teeth. It's very frothy up okay. top. It's it's creamy. It's body temperature, very warm. Uh, warm. And you just you just take it down. Yeah. And it is has a it is a free from a bacteria. How do you say cheers? Yeah, cheers. 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 Okay. We asked that. Like some different taste How does India say cheers? It is some water, so salty and like that. Way. Yeah. It's just it's salty. Have you ever had milk Ooh, fresh from the, uh, creamy, from the cow? I wish. Wow. No, but my oh, wife sir. She says it's a very special delicious. experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cheers. Better it is. Next up, we're heading to the suburbs for a local snack that's prepared and eaten in a very unique style. We're in this residential Naked. area here in Mumbai. Yeah, we have those plants. And just on the street corner, these guys pop up out of nowhere. Money Perry? And then immediately, people who knew the stand Hurry. started coming up and ordering some food. Uh. What is special about this place? My plant is very tasty. How many do you usually eat? 10 to 15 pounds. 10 to 15. My kind of snack, I like that. Do they usually just yeah, give you one like by 30 one? Some. Oh, it no, sounds like super fresh. So this is like an assembly line that ends up in raw. The pani puri here starts with a round wheat crisp. We know. Stuffed with some beans. We ate so many. And dipped in a sweet This is old school and has experience. And one. finally, it's completely submerged in this green I flavored water. They give you yeah, eight fully dish, and they just serve you one at a time. They, they create this assembly line, and then while you're chewing, they're creating the next one. Let's try it out. Not really mm. exotic. Oh, right. No, not, me up. not really. Knock, let's knock them off. There's something that in there that's delicious. exotic. I don't know. Mmm. It's perfect. Perfect. Mm. Oh, no. This is dangerous. Like, whatever they put in here, I'm eating it. Okay, thank you. 
It is like Indian chips and salsa. Now, give me a second to explain. They have so many flavors that I'm used to from something like Mexican food with the beans inside, cilantro, the spiciness. So it almost tastes like a corn chip full of pico de gallo, bean, and some spicy, like soupy salsa that kind of you get for free at a Mexican restaurant. And then a little bit of sweetness from some tamarind sauce and together it's just so amazing. You didn't try this mm. right when you went to Calcutta? No. Yeah, we'll try one. Yeah. Okay, I seriously, I've had like eight or nine already. Last one, last one. <laughs> Get on our item, level. They're whipping up some said foodie, starting with flat wheat crisps, potato, onion, cilantro, spicy chutney, tamarind sauce, cilantro again, chickpea flour oh, shavings, dang. known as sev, plenty of that, more tamarind sauce, cilantro, oh. and it's topped with some fresh lemon. And lemon. That looks tasty. Yes. Thank you. Oh, it's like heavy. And look, I can't help but to compare it to Mexican food because that's kind of my basis of knowledge and I'm, I'm very new to Indian it's food. I'm learning a lot about it. This feels like some kind of nachos without the cheese. So we've got the chips on the bottom and it's just stacked with toppings. There's a potato, there's a chip. I'm hungry now. Okay, I'll stop talking. That looks, that looks tasty. Great. I know it's going to be too spicy for me, but that looks tasty. This is my new favorite thing ever. Oh, I'm gonna get so fat here. It is like perfect. <laughs> a lot of the food I've had here so far has been fairly heavy, but this with like the nice fresh herbs, bean, with the very fresh sauces, onion, it's just very light, very fresh, full of flavor. It's salty, it's spicy, it's sweet all at the same time. It's perfection. I love it. I don't recommend doing double chilies, I'm dying over here. We are continuing our journey finding the most exotic and interesting foods here in Mumbai, India. And right here we have a food stall serving what is essentially the Indian hamburger. Oh. You can see there is a yeah, line that, we've had of that. auto rickshaws. Not that good, but no, not so that good, but we did, we got that. There's a bunch of local potato people here eating. This is like a real workman's lunch, so let's go check it out. <laughs> and here we are. This is called Vada Pop, yes. but some Vada call Pop. it the Bombay we had that. Burger. A bun stuffed with yeah, a large a bun. fried potato dumpling. Flavor Obviously it's more delicious than in India, but some sure. fresh chilies. This particular stand lets patrons mix and match the inner workings of their burger. One dude got theirs loaded with potato chips. So other people Another are touching my ingredients. Yep. samosa in there, so don't be afraid to right get Right after creative. they went to the Put bathroom. Some of this freshly fried potato ball, and then that can go inside of the bread, inside the sandwich. This is like a fried spinach fritter, and you can mix and match a couple other things <laughs> too. Here for dessert, they have the jelly bean. So right here he's just fried a load of hot chilies, putting some salt on top. That looks intense. So you, you eat the sandwich, I, you eat the chili yeah, together. Yeah. Today, my Vada Pop starts with bread that's sliced. I remember the Vada Pop we had here. Chutney and their and, own and that's an American Vada Pop. Yeah. Then a yeah. big it was old delicious. fried yeah, potato really dumpling. Good. Then a newspaper, so I have something to read. Also some spinach fritters, potato chips, and chilies on the side. All this for 20 rupees or about 30 cents. Well, almost like the bread is just a holder. So you can hold it without burning your mouth. I forgot about this. Yeah. Jeez. Chili. You're supposed to be supplementing the flavor with the chili. That's so a little like snack this? like that would be six dollars. Right. You'd American like dollars. And you'd, you'd be like getting that's a bargain. Yeah. Yeah. Not hot. Not hot. So like I mean, a little hot chili. Between three and three hundred fifty. It brings out this great like sweet taste. It's so different from a raw chili. It's, it's, the it's small, so it's like a bread. snack. Chunky yeah. So it's like around six bucks. Yep. I mean, if it was in Beverly Hills that is or a hearty sandwich. West Hollywood, it might be more expensive. A bunch of turmeric flavor coming through. No. Oh my god! <laughs> what double double chili? Uh. All right, double chili. I'm good. The chili, you have to have it with the chili. Yummy! Yummy. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie. The inside of my mouth is on fire, and I want to die. But otherwise, it's really good. And no, I'm okay. Look at how ready got. That's exactly what I said. Yeah, nice. My mouth is on fire, but it's delicious. <laughs> I'm heading back to Muhammad Ali Road. This road is famous for its huge variety you have of a Muhammad Ali Road? especially heavy non-veg delights. My buddy Azar sense. leads the way as we order up some beja fry, right? containing some special yeah, ingredients. Um, these yeah. are not testicles, right? No, I know. That's kidney. Okay. That's liver. That's brain. I, yeah. That's heart. What are animals is this from? Goat. Oh, no, goat. This is all the goat yeah. organ section that we have. Cook them, they're gonna fry them up, obviously. It's called Beja Fry. From the chop back, 
Lots of iron in there. The most disgusting thing about that is the texture. Have you eaten bread? I might have. Not my toys. It's cow head. That's true. It's, and it's a mixture of cow head. Let's try it now. The Mumbai and particularly in this part of Mumbai, it's very common. When you eat the brain, like what do you like about the brain? The texture, right? It's a very soft. Yeah, soft and gooey for it. Like boogers. Oh, so let's get some brain. And let's get some kidney. You ever had kidney? No. Liver. Kidney on With one side. With fava beans. Brain on one side. Garlic paste, cumin seeds, tomatoes, red chili powder, coriander powder. And so is he going to mix the brain and the kidney? No, no, no. On one side he's going to cook the brain, on the other side he's going to cook the other side. Okay, good. I don't know. I don't like mixing my brain with kidney. Okay, that's fine. 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 Okay, that Fried, our main courses are served with an assortment of bread. Oh. You know, brain is a little bit unusual for some white That was amazing. Yeah. If I didn't know that was brain, <laughs> then... But the brain is really just kind of fatty. It kind of looks like chicken almost. Yeah. And then I just put it in there. I made like a sloppy joke. No. No. Uh -oh. No, I don't think that's not the way. Okay. No problem. That's the way. Okay, so I'm going to grab some of the brain. There we go. There's an assist. Okay, and then right there, we've got some of the brain. That is delicious. Some of the bread. All yeah, together. so you so can't you tell. Here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Cheers. Sancho. I bet it's delicious. How's it going? Is that your first time ever? No, I had goat brain one other time. The goat's brain. That is a goat brain? Yeah. Did this goat do meth? What? It's like goat brain like this. And with these kind of Indian And then the brain is just really fatty and soft. Yeah. Super salty. Let's try some kidney. It's a cheat day. It's a special day. But that's got a stronger flavor. That's good. That's good. That's even better. I don't think I've ever actually on purpose had any pork in it. Even better. This place is cooking up a ton of these different sauteed organ dishes. And then you can see the sauce. You don't need no pork. You don't need no pork. You can choose what kind of bread you want to scoop it up with. Exactly. Hey, Ben. Today's menu is beef shirts with subscription. 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 Oh. oh man, yeah. The, the the brains actually didn't look as bad enough. cooked. Yeah, like I think I would be able to like if somebody just handed me that. Not that I would just eat something somebody handed me, uh, <laughs> but um, if in its cooked version, I might try. Would you do a blind tasting? No, where no. you didn't even know what it was. No. You had a blindfold on, and they're just gonna put no. stuff in your mouth. I don't trust people. <laughs> I do not trust people enough to put anything in my mouth, except for one person. I'm, okay, so if, if, if she's the one feeding you. Oh, I wasn't talking about food. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways. Yeah, no. <laughs> but anyways. Yeah, the uh, most of this stuff looked delicious, kind of similar to yeah. him. Like, my mouth, I know is going to be on fire. And that is true. If you eat something, you typically, if it's too hot, you'll say it's destroying my mouth, but it is delicious. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's, it's not really the taste that I don't normally like. It's, it's, it's the fact that my mouth is now dead on the inside, kind of like my soul. Uh, <laughs> that's what I, I'm, I don't enjoy about spicy food. Yeah. It's the fact that I can't taste anything after it. And text, so are what, texture wise, what are the texture things that just undo you? Like, you don't like spicy. Spongy, do you? Uh, well, yeah, I've never yeah. seen. I can't, yeah. uh, like... This. The flavor of gob jamun is delicious, but I can't handle the texture. The, the spongy Yeah, it, it's, it literally feels like, like the old school kitchen sponges you put in your mouth, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm chewing on, and it has old, like, sink water. <laughs> <laughs> No, not, just, not because of the taste, just but because, because of the texture. It, the texture, and then it squishes out, and so in my head, now this is a sink water that I'm eating. Got it. Uh, but then the slimy stuff, I can't do, I can't, like, uh, anything that has, like, a weird, like, like you're, it's crunchy, and then you get some weird, uh, that's why I don't like nuts, I don't like nuts and brownies or anything like that. Right, because you don't like mixing the textures. Yeah, I don't like, I, it's too much. It's too much. Yeah. I, honestly, I would prefer, like, I know a lot of people, like, with, you know, chicken, they like crunchy. Mm -hmm. I actually, I don't, I don't want the crunchiness on the outside. I would actually prefer it to be like, uh, almost like uh, roasted oh, I love turkey it. leg. Always, yeah. 
Right. So you, would you eat a giant turkey leg like they do at Magic Mountain? On the I bone? don't normally. I enjoy the flavor. The yeah, flavor's delicious. The taste. No, I don't. But you don't like. It. Yeah, I don't normally normal. eat it because oh, I don't. Man. I don't like holding the, oh, the I thing. Do. I do. The flavor is tasty, but yeah, I, I mean, I. Everybody have a hard time getting over the fact that I know it's a brain. I know that. Well, and you can you can eat the slimy things as long as they're cooked. Like escargot is typically cooked up so that I've never smell, had escargot because I know I would hate it. No, it's delicious. Uh, but the, the 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 texture looks awful. It's not. It's actually a quite firm texture. Yeah, Snakes. but it's a bunch of little. Or, or, no, no, it's just a snail. Uh, yeah. It's a snail. It's a firm, rather firm, uh, almost somewhere in the middle between. It's more firm than a mushroom, but less firm than like meat. Yeah, it like sounds steak. Disgusting. It's delicious. That sounds disgusting. Escargot is great. <laughs> so. Oysters are not on the menu uh, for you. Uh, oh, you I, poor soul. I've never... Actually, oh. I can't remember if I... No, I, I have had oysters because oh. I lived in Hawaii as a kid. And my dad... and love oysters. ...handed me some oysters. And <gasps> I, I did it, and I was like... Mm. <laughs> Ice-cold oysters. Oh, my. Hmm? I love them. Ever had mussels? I think so, yeah. Who is it? And that was our show. Yeah. Goodbye, we have to go into the book. <laughs>